Hey guys, what's up? I am Arya and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be reviewing Alice Sibol's The Lovely Bones. Now this book is very very dear to me and one of my favorite books. You will come to know later later on in the review as to why is this my favorite book. And also I have given this book a four out of a five star, which is very very decent and very great. So stick till the end to find out more about the book. And yeah, so without any further ado, now let's get into the video. So first talking about the author of the book, Alice Sebold. She is an American author or right she is an american writer who has written overall three books her debut novel was lucky second was the lovely bones and the third novel was the almost moon the author has also won the american booksellers association the book of the year award in the adult fiction genre for the lovely bones so you can understand that this book is really really great and a must read now coming over to the synopsis of the book so the book is not very thin and neither very thick overall the book is of 328 pages so you can like i think the book was really engrossing and very interesting to read so you can if you are a good reader you can read it in one go in one sitting or you won't take much time to read this book because the language is also not very very difficult so yeah you can read it in one go and um, also i've purchased this book at a very very low cost now coming over to what the book is all about and the storyline so the narrator of the book is actually a 14 year old girl named Susie Salmon who was raped and murdered at a mere age of 14 years now the whole book is around her that what she experiences after dying she goes to her own private heaven space and uh, she watches her family and friends and the, and everybody she was ever close to from the heaven and she watches them lead their lives in her absence and how are they struggling and uh, and actually everything that is going on with her family and friends so in her family she had her parents a younger sister and a younger brother she was the eldest of her siblings so Susie was basically raped and murdered by her own neighbor who she, whom she referred to as Mr. Harvey. He lived right across her, her own house and they did not have much interaction with him. So it was also very difficult for the police and I, I won't give you any spoilers as to what happens. Okay, fine. Yeah, actually he dies at the end. Also, this book has been widely criticized by many readers who have said that the book is that the book is really disturbing and deeply fills you with sadness because Sibold has actually given a very vivid detail of each and everything that happened like the incident of Susie's rape and death it is described very vividly in the in the second chapter itself of the book so also before doing this review i was going through many social media comments on this book as to what the people think about it and I found that many people have said that they stopped reading this book just because in the second chapter a 14 year old girl old a 14 year old girl was gruesomely raped and murdered by her neighbor who is a very old man so and uh, actually I find that really disturbing because you cannot criticize a literary work which is not at all based on fiction like it happens every time in our society we we cannot just close our eyes and if we don't read about such things it's not that those things will stop happening around us so it's better we take some steps against it and not just criticize a book for it because I found it really sad that people have actually stopped reading the book after the second chapter itself because the whole book is an experience in itself and I don't think the book deserves to be criticized on this point because it covers a very honest and uh, bad side of our society which Sibold has actually done in a very magical way 
also contrasting to the plot of the book which was in the first few chapters the book actually takes a turn and shows a very innocent side of the characters or the protagonist suzy who watches her family from the heaven from her own personal heaven so it is it gives a very soothing experience her innocence and the things she saw and she used to experience and the things she sees her friends and her own sister going through in school or anywhere on the street or uh, the way she sees mr harvey living his own life very peacefully and very easily after killing her and no one even notices that and uh, every single detail that um, Sebold has mentioned in the book from Suzy Salmon's eyes is very very soothing and very nice to read like it really shows a very innocent and uh, clean clean and clear part of the book which actually is my favorite part so for those who have stopped reading the book only after the chapter second have done a very very big mistake and i would suggest you to go grab the book and read it fully and if you have read the book please comment down below and let me know i would like to know your experience and what did you think about the book because i loved the book totally and uh, also uh, the best part of the book is that when you finish reading it it finishes on this line that suzy is wishing the reader a very long and happy life which was really emotional uh, which was really touching because she herself is dead and and the way it is written so grandma lin is actually suzy's grandmother who dies later on like after a few years after suzy's death and suzy also mentions about her that she has not yet found her in her heaven and that she would and that she would definitely see her after grandma has discovered and um, discovered her own heaven and stuff so it is really sweet and really nice the whole book is actually very magical and uh, gives you a very different side of what we feel it actually sibol has actually given words to what we feel or what we have always been listening to that uh, even after the death of a person the dead do not leave us totally so they are around us somewhere watching us always so sibol has given words to that feeling of ours So yeah according to me the book is a must read and uh, as the daily mail has rightly said about it that the book will stay with you long after you finish reading it and it will trust me it will it is very 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 enriching read so totally go for it i will totally suggest you to go for this book i loved this book i am sure you would love it too and uh, if you give it a read do mention in the comment section below and let me know that how did you like the book and uh, do you do you feel that all the criticism around this book is right or not because according to me it is not the book has done justice to what happens in our society and what is honest and what is true and uh, the real face of the world and i don't think any book should be criticized for saying the truth and also mention in the comment section below if you have already read the book or if you are now wanting to go and read the book and i'll see you very soon with a new review so till then keep reading keep loving